So two days ago, I just finished watching the Walking with Dinosaurs, the live experience at the Singapore Indoor Stadium. And then I know I've been like very, very busy these few days. So now I only can take this opportunity. Yeah. So now I only can take this opportunity to actually to give you a quick introduction on Walking the show. Walking with Dinosaurs, not Halloween Horror Night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've actually watched it like nine years ago when it first came to Singapore and this is the second time that I'm watching it and I'm still liking it. I only watched it nine years ago. Have you watched it now? Do you like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dinosaurs look real. Yeah, the animatronics is like so good. I always uh, wonder how they knew what the dinosaurs would do, you know, then. Because nobody was alive then. <laughs> That's why the scientists and the archaeologists, what they are doing is to study all this and then to like interpret what the dinosaur was doing Same during Same like banana and pajamas also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rude. <laughs> it's really an amazing show and then every time when they come to Singapore it's actually such a short run. So for this time round they only started like on the 29th of August and then it was it's going to end on the 8th of September. And the reason the movement is like so real and so fluid is because they actually have a team of puppeteers that's actually behind the scene looking onto the stage to make and to create the movement. Um, it's the neck, so if I want to have the neck look left and right, step with my right hand, um, I, this, this controls the body, so if I want to push down or pull up on the body here, I can control it, and then there's body tilt as well. If this puppeteer wants to control the mouth, we use this joystick, pull down, it opens the mouth, close, open, close. Uh, he or she can control the eyes, so this is eye blink. So uh, closing and opening the eyes and then looking left and right here with the eyes and this keyboard will actually do the sounds of all the dinosaurs additionally there's a person in a car right underneath the dinosaur you can see that that's the dinosaur driver and he will he controls the path on the floor that we drive and how fast uh, he goes the dinosaur will go around on the floor it's just so amazing the amount of work and the amount of like technology that's being used to create this show it's just so overwhelming lah, huh? Although the show is like the same nine years ago and the recent one that I watched, but I still pretty much enjoy it, you know? It's just like how you would sometimes, for people like me, would actually go visit the zoo again and again. It's pretty much the same. It's just so good. It's so real. I mean, when I brought my sisters there, this is the first time that they actually watch it. And uh, they actually, like ask me a very very stupid question it's like are they real <laughs> and then immediately she actually corrected herself okay it's so funny but the kids enjoyed it nothing like a dinner table around at your house i'm sure was he feathered to it the more flamboyant which is on the leg and it's actually a very educational kind of show for adults and kids to enjoy and to know more about the Jurassic era I mean what happened to Pangea and all that and I would say that you do not really need to buy the most expensive ticket to sit in the front row to enjoy the whole show when I was sitting right on top of the theater I actually prefer that angle because I actually get to see a little bit more from the top view so it's still not too bad just enjoy the moment you have it's not about how expensive the ticket is. Just as a guide to ferns and pines, not a single French fry. It's just such a nice show, la. you I do not know how to tell you much more, but you really have to go and see it. 